What is going on everybody, my name is Elise Viper and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial I will show you how to make this x-ray shader that I used in some of my renders previously. It is a very short tutorial since the shader is very easy to make, but since it has been requested so much that I show it, here it is. So let's get right into the video. So here I have a Ferrari SF90XX, which is actually one of the render scenes that I've used previously for the x-ray effect. The first thing that you're going to do to make the x-ray is you're going to create a mix material. This by the way also works with a composite material, but I prefer the mix material at the moment. Then cr let's create two other materials. In order to remember which material is which, let's rename one invisible and one color. Now let's go into the mix material and drag the invisible material in material 1 and the color material in material 2. Also maybe let's change the color to black of the color material just so we can see what we're doing. So now we can drag the mix material onto our car body. As you can see not much has happened, the car got a little more grey but other than that not really much. So let's go into the mix material here and go into the note editor. As you can see here we have our two materials the invisible material and the black material. But these can stay like this for now. So the important part that you do here is let's go and add a dirt node as well as a octane gradient. Let's connect the dirt node with the octane gradient and plug the gradient into the amount input of our mix material. Now our car changed back to white, which is also not quite what we want. What we want is we want a white car body with black outlines. That is what the dirt node does. And that is probably because our dirt node does not have the right radius yet. So what you're gonna do is let's increase the radius of our dirt node to a point where our car starts to get black parts. Just like that. As you can see it starts to get these shadows and also back here it starts to get a little bit more gray. Which is fine. Of course if, if we would further increase this as you can see it would get even more of them. But let's keep it a little lower for now. Now in order to control this third node more, what we did is we added a gradient node and with this black interpolation point right here you can control how far the black outlines go outwards of the car. As you can see if I move it more to the right, the outlines of the car get more and if I move it back it gets less. This is slightly different than the radius setting uh, since this is sort of like a clamp for the third node which is exactly what we want. We want nice and sharp edges. As you can see, now we have these nice black outlines. And now it's time to make the magic happen. Well, actually, it's just to turn the invisible material invisible. So let's go into the opacity channel of our invisible material and turn the float value all the way down. Now our car is almost completely black. That is fine, because that is what we want. You can now pretty much just look through the entire car and see all the black lines, which are a little bit too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to decrease our radius again slightly to a point where we like what we're looking at. As you can see now here, we can see through the car and we get all these nice outlines. And that is pretty much how you create the x-ray effect. Now if, of course if you want to add more detail in it, what I like to do is I like to add some different colors to the x-ray. So for example that certain materials turn orange, certain materials turn blue, like they do the airport x-rays. Now technically this is not really an x-ray look, you can look through the car but it's more like a blueprint but uh, I think it, it has this x-ray ambience. Another thing that you can also do which looks kind of cool is you can make the outlines or the color material and emissive material and put it in a black environment and you get this like really cool neon look. So this shade actually has a lot of versatility and I really enjoy playing around with it. It's only a plus point that it's so easy to create. So that was how to create the x-ray shader. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.